Hey guys, Cell back in the Nerd Cave with part two of my July 2021 Criterion pickups. That's right, I went back to Barnes & Noble today and picked up five more titles. Um, I was looking for one specifically. At one point I probably had um, seven or eight. Took Put some back grab some others you know how it is it, it's hard um but eventually you gotta just make a decision so walked away with five more titles i think that might be 10 uh so far for this sale i think it goes to the end of the month so who knows i may go back to barnes and noble or you know like i kind of said in my last video as you know amazon um also um matches a lot of those prices so if you have to, or you're not near a Barnes & Noble, although if you can support them, even though their prices are shitty <laughs> for everything else, um, never buy Criterion, and I've said this, I said this during the last video, don't buy Criterion from them when it's not the sale. It's it's way overpriced. You can get them on Amazon um, normally for high 20s, low 30s. Um, anyway, let's jump into it. I don't want to bash Barnes & Noble. Let's support brick and mortar stores when we can first up is another terry gilliam film i think what the last one i got was the last pickups was brazil um this one is another one that i haven't seen i, I never saw brazil time bandits was on hbo back in the day um and you hear that a lot for me um i was a kid in the 80s and we had hbo and i was always watching stuff um and yeah, so a lot of these movies are just kind of things I maybe haven't seen in, in 20, 30 plus years. Um, and let, let me just jump right to it. Time Bandits. Um, it's one that I, I always pick up during every sale and I end up putting down. So I just said, you know what? I'm grabbing it. It's uh, from 1981. Here's a little bit about the film and some of the special features. I don't remember too much about it. Um, I said I was going to stop. Oh, here we go. Um, I don't remember too much about the film, um, so I do look forward to watching it. Um, it comes with, I guess, a map or something, which is pretty cool. And a ton of info. Okay. And for those of you who remember the movie or have seen it multiple times, maybe this means something to you. So that's the first one um next one up eh, it's just you know a lot of these are blind buys this one is a 1975 film uh warren Beatty, goldie hahn shampoo don't really know much about it i'm literally going by the description which sounded pretty good um you have a young warren Beatty, um you know a young goldie hahn so looked interesting I literally had this and what other movies I had a ton of other movies putting it back my um and he the night was was one that I, I almost picked up um what else my own little Idaho is am I saying that right um Joaquin Phoenix uh Keanu Reeve um Keanu Reeves um I I didn't do it and there was like some others. Uh, there were some other ones I don't I don't remember. Uh, just a ton of them. A broadcast news uh, that had a loose disc. The Brood. Uh, David Cronenberg. I'm trying to pick up a lot of David Cronenberg movies. Um, that had a crack in the in in the back of the of the Amore. So, um, but yeah. So I landed on shampoo. I, okay. Um, we'll see how it is. Um, <laughs> hopefully that was a good decision. Next one up is um, a film from 1989, which I've seen maybe some bits and pieces of it. Never seen the whole thing. Um, I think it was a pretty controversial film back in, in the day. Um, and it is um, Andy McDowell. Um, who else is in here? Peter Gallagher, James Spader. And it's Sex, Lies, and Videotape. Um this is another one that I've, I've been wanting to get. 
there was one left um, at the store. So I picked this up. Really cool. Haven't seen it one, you know, another one like this um, where it has like the clear slip to make it look like like if they're on like tape, you know, so you have like the the lines and stuff like they're on tape, but you know, that's just the actual slip, which is pretty cool. Here's a little bit about the movie. I'm gonna pause that. Some of the special features. Yeah. And then pretty nice book. A ton of info in here. And it's got a director's, what is it? Like an article or something on here. And then no pictures or anything. I don't know, maybe they can't show it, but um, a director's diary. Uh, Steven Sodenberg directed this. So yeah, definitely um, interested in finally watching all of this. Um, I'm going to pause the video now because this took me a very long time to put in last time. So I'm not going to subject you to that. I'll be right back. No joke, that literally took two seconds. I, <laughs> but last time it took me forever. Is there a better way to do this? Let's, there we go. My dirty table. I really need to clean that. Next one up is um, a new release, um, which is cool um, because it is part of the sale. And I'm trying to get more into these older movies. Um, and this one is from 1938. And it's bringing up Baby with Katherine Hepburn and uh, Cary Grant. A little bit about the movie. Like I said, you know, I'm trying to um, broaden my, you know, horizons here, I guess, is if that's the term um, with these different movies. And I feel like Criterion is the best way to kind of do that. Even with the horror stuff, you know, I'm a horror guy, but, you know, a lot of it's artsy kind of stuff. So, um, but I heard some good things about this one. Some of the special features. Again, 1938. Pretty old one, um, but definitely looking forward to checking that one out. Booklets. Some Like It Hot. I had that. Um, I wanted to pick that up, but they only had the DVD. Um, so maybe I'll pick that up on Amazon. I kind of already hit up all the Barnes & Noble kind of in the area um, that I can. So without driving too far. Last one up is one that I went to the store looking for. Um, this was the third Barnes & Noble I went to looking for this. Each one of them... Um, to be fair, the first one said it wasn't in stock. But the next two said it was. The second one... It was on hold for someone, which I didn't realize they do. Um, and I ordered it, and they were going to let me know when they got it in. They haven't told me yet. So then I went to one today, and same thing. It wasn't there. Only the DVD. The DVD was there for all three places, to the point where today I was going to pick up the DVD. You go on Amazon, it's like $28, and it's out of stock. There's like... $30 on eBay. I'm like, what's going on with this release? It's an Albert Brooks movie. What's happening? And it's and it's sort of new. It came out a few months before the sale. It's defending your life. Um, But yeah, it came out a few months before the sale. I'm like, you know, I'm going to wait for the sale. And I'm like, don't tell me defending your life is, is, is that sought after where I can't find it. Um, so what I did was I went to the, my third Barnes & Noble um, today, and it said it was in stock. It let me order it for store pickup while I was, while I was in the store. I did this, um, and I'm still there looking at stuff, and the and salesperson comes over and starts looking through everything. I see her grab Defending Your Life DVD, and she's looking at it, and I'm like, is that for the online order? <laughs> That's for me. And she just kind of looked at me like I was crazy. I was like, yeah, it said it was in stock and I couldn't find it, but it let me buy it. So I figured I'd come back later when it told me I could. But I'm still here looking because I'm crazy and I collect all these movies and I'm sitting here 45 minutes later still looking at the same stuff, putting stuff back, grabbing stuff. I probably had seven, eight titles in my hand at that point. Who knows? And um, she goes, yeah, I don't think it's here. I think it's missing. Um, but 
she was really nice. I, well, I think she was nice. She, <laughs> she opened up boxes and, um, I went along my way looking through other movies. And next thing you know, um, I hear her yelling um, from across the room. I found it. It's going to be up in the front. And I, my immediate reaction was like yelling. Yes. Very loudly in Barnes and Noble, which it's not a library, but it feels like a library because there's so many books around. So it felt kind of weird. I was like, yes. Um, for defending your life, which listen, another one. I say this all the time. HBO in the eighties, um, which is a lie, because uh, this is a nineteen ninety one film. But okay, in the early nineties, watching this a lot, and it's a good movie. It's um, if you haven't seen this movie, um, Albert Brooks dies. No spoilers. It happens in the beginning. Um, Meryl Streep's in it, and uh, you go to Judgment. Well, I guess Judgment City is that where he goes. You go somewhere where you have to defend the decisions you made in life to go to the next um, phase of existence, you know, quote unquote, heaven or whatever it is. Right. Um, and if you can't justify your actions or your decisions, then you're sent back and re reincarnated to do it all again to justify going to heaven or whatever it is. Right. Um, and in the middle of it, of course, he falls in love with Meryl Streep, um, who is the perfect human being and everyone loves her. Um, but it's, it's a good movie. It's, it's interesting. Um, it's, it's very Albert, Albert, um, Albert, can I say that right? <laughs> Albert Brooks, um, type of movie written and directed. So obviously, um, but I, I like it and I was excited when they had a criterion and I Luckily, I found it. It was kind of crazy. Anyway, um, so now I found it. Got Defending Your Life. Um, kind of cool visitor guide to Judgment City. There's a scene where, like, everything's perfect here. Um, everything's free. There's a scene where he's eating, um, and I just remember this. Whenever I see Fettuccine Alfredo, and I'm pretty sure it was Fettuccine Alfredo, um, I think of two things. I think of Michael Scott... Uh, before doing his 5k um, <laughs> eating fettuccine alfredo and I think of Albert Brooks eating the the best fettuccine alfredo he's ever had in his life in Judgment City it's weird I mean that I think that um, and I wish I you know could eat fettuccine alfredo but I'm a I'm a Ted lactose intolerant. Um, doesn't stop me from eating pizza, but you know, uh, a little too much information about myself. So sorry about that, guys. Um, but anyway, this is it. Um, and of course, you know, uh, you can tell he probably didn't live, uh, make the best decisions in life. So he has to defend it. Hence um, the title. But yeah, that's Defending Your Life. Um, I highly recommend it from what I remember. <laughs> um, but I think it's going to hold up. And that's it, guys. Those are... Um, those are my second round of pickups. Um, let me know in the comments below. Did you go back for seconds, thirds? Um, what did you pick up? Um, what do you want to pick up? What can't you find? Are you having problems finding this? Can you not find Defending Your Life? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I know you're watching the videos. Uh, the first video is doing pretty well. So subscribe, whatever. Hit the bell, the, the likes. Give me thumbs downs. I don't care. Just let me know you're watching. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. See you guys next time in the Nerd Cave.